What's up y'all? I'm back. This is my first ride since the wreck. Um, I'm a little nervous right now, I'm not gonna lie. Just cause uh, I messed my knees up pretty good. And uh, it's kind of hard to sit on the bike. But mama didn't raise no quitter. Let's get it in. <laughs> As you can see, it's a little bit stiff getting on and off. Um, don't mind the... Uh, God, I need a new tank protector. Don't mind the scuffed up lens on the 360. Oh, we're off. And yes, I'm totally squitted out 15 days after I had a motorcycle wreck. So, <laughs> oh, it feels good. I miss being on two. So the 10R is a total loss. Um, so I thought I had full coverage insurance. I was wrong. That was a pretty serious mistake. <laughs> um, it is what it is. But the good news is, oh man, Pop almost ran through on me. Is he really gonna mess with me now? That'd be kind of uh, obnoxious if you ask me. But uh, as I was saying, um, so it's a total loss. I'm parting it out. Um, the front end's pretty much toast. But uh, I should be able to get a decent amount out of the motor and some of the other parts. Might have somebody that is uh, interested in the whole bike. We're gonna see. I gave him a pretty good price. I mean, it is pretty toast, but I did give him a good price. So, whew. My knees are a little stiff getting on this thing, y'all. After, uh, so what, what happened is uh, when I wrecked, I broke my left knee. Not real serious, but a break is a break. And I uh, tore the ACL in my right knee. At least the doctor thinks I'm waiting for an MRI. I have that scheduled at the end of the month. And uh, I've been walking a mile a day just rehabbing myself because uh, I don't got all this time to be laid up, guys. I really don't. Um, I don't like it. I don't want to be laid up. Oh, I'm losing it. Uh-oh. No. Hold on. We're determined not to lose this thing. I think it'll stay on there. <laughs> eh. All right. Let's see. I don't wanna slip. Come on, can I find neutral? So these mirrors don't like this. Um. So the 636 doesn't play the mirror mount. <laughs> Um, it's okay. As I was saying, um, what was I saying? Man, sorry, that distracted me. I thought I was gonna lose my uh, 360. It's already banged up from being on the 10R when I wrecked. <laughs> it's a scuffed up. I got another lens cover coming. It's a little scuffed up, but it still works. I just bought it. There's no way I'm taking a loss on that. Um, so insurance is lost. However, I was able to uh, get a loan I know that's horrible and uh, I, I'm going to get another 10R the exact same one just non ABS this time from Fort Worth on Tuesday so it's all good guys it's all good man this uh, 360 is uncomfortable in my pocket I'm not gonna lie to you the times I wish I had a backpack I'm just doing a short ride my knees are a little stiff already um, it's hard to get them on here um, they're actually not even on my feet aren't on the pegs correctly but they're on there good enough to uh, do what they need to do see how about that god I forgot how obnoxious the windscreen rattle was on this uh, 636 yes. so uh yeah I'm back my wife's gonna be mortified when she finds out I went out riding it's only been 15 days 
Uh, I know she's worried, but this is this is what I do. It just is part of the game for me. You know, you, you ride, you're gonna wreck. If not, then start buying lottery tickets. That's all I gotta say. Ah! God! <laughs> A little bit of time but yeah i've been walking a mile a day in the i've been going to the park walking a mile a day and just rehab my knees um if the doctors ain't gonna get on it i will i'm not one of those guys that's gonna sit around injured and cry about it you know i spent a few days uh sitting around on the pain pills they gave me and moping about and limping about but you know mad about the bike mad about the situation talking crap back and forth on the internet with all the uh the smart people you know when a bike wrecks everyone's just jumping with joy and uh, i knew they would but i guess i didn't really expect like it to get to me it did get to me a little bit made me mad like like people are talking about karma this and it just like hey, you don't even know me man i'm actually a decent person you know just because you disagree with my some of my life choices or you know the, what i do for hobbies to have fun man, that that's not on me and uh, to wish harm upon me is just asinine. But it's cool. Um, as I kind of pointed out in a lot of the comments a little bit, I'm living my best life. I'll continue to be okay. I'll continue to have nice motorcycles. Um, sorry, not sorry. I don't usually rub my success in anyone's face because I'm humble. I grew up really poor. I had nothing. I've been a little bit lucky and I've worked really hard for what I have. Um, so, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm humble about it for the most part, but sometimes I will bring that cocky side out because, like, don't be wishing, you know what I mean? Don't wish that on me, man. Like, that's just, that ain't nice. And, uh, yeah, anyways, <laughs> it got big plays, I knew it would, though. Would have been big on TikTok, but uh, it was damn harmful. So, that's cool. And TikTok's one of the ones I want to grow, too. I'm, like, stuck at, like, almost 5,000 for a hot minute now because, well, for a while I quit doing all the TikToks. I'm more of a long-form creator, I've discovered. Like, I mean, I can do the short-form videos, but I'm better at the moto vlogs than I am at, uh, you know, doing the creative little TikToks and reels and the YouTube shorts. I'm just not as good at it. So I'm one of those, you know, embrace your strengths. Like, why would you not go with your strengths over your weaknesses? You know what I mean? So. Yeah, buddy. Oh, it feels good. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This feels really good. It hurts my knees a little bit, but uh, everything hurts my knees nowadays. So it is what it is. <laughs> it's a beautiful day too. It's been, I mean, right at the beginning of like the real summer. I just totally eat a trailer like it's lunch. And for everyone, I, so I want to clear some stuff up with that. Dude, I'm not proud of that. There's a lot I could have done different. You know what I mean? I, my reaction wasn't my favorite. That being said, the 360 catches more more view than my eyes do and i don't know if i was maybe paying attention to something else but when i seen that trailer it was dude there's not a lot i can do should have had better situational awareness that suv should not have cut me off in the intersection almost hit me i mean they really were within five feet of me the video doesn't do it as much justice and of course the video makes it look like i had five business days react as uh some people hilariously pointed out <laughs> i do have a sense of humor guys i'm just a little salty about the situation <laughs> that that's one of my favorites though bro had five business days to react and and they're right but it is what it is um i got salty with some people i shouldn't have on the internet about it because i was just dealing with people and just in pain and already sore about the situation and uh it just is is what it is man we're moving on we're gonna have the new 10r um i i so i got the non-abs version this time but it's the exact same color which i'm so happy about i love that bike the look just wow 
Peace to resistance. Don't mind my corny accent, y'all. Just, just disregard. I'm out here. I'm living my best life. I'm happy. I'm happy, guys. Um, one thing I'm not proud of is I relapsed on drinking when the wreck happened. Um, so also, the same day of the wreck. Sorry, I got. I, I'll come back to what I was saying. This, this is important. The same day of my wreck. A couple hours later, uh, two of my friends that I ride with, Dre and his girl Aspen, were in a pretty serious accident. Um, they're both, uh, he just got out of ICU, she's still in ICU. Um, it, it's pretty serious. I mean, they got broke real bad. They, I, I don't know for sure, I don't want to put misinformation out, but they, they, they do tandem wheelies a lot. They might have been in a tandem wheelie when a car pulled out in front of them, I don't know. Um, I don't know the situation. I'm guessing because they got hurt so bad and she got hurt worse. So she would have been in front of him on the tank. If that happened, I don't know. So just disclaimer, but they got hurt real bad. And then Mike um, had a car pull in front of him and he died. So my wreck wasn't even the most serious one. I relapsed on drink and um, I'm done again. I'm honestly not changing my sober day because it was just a little lapse in judgment. Um, I don't know, I'm a little different about it than most people. I've been clean since Christmas with a with a break. <laughs> Fell off the wagon for a minute. Oh, sorry, those ribs are coming back on me. Had me some ribs for lunch. Um, so anyway, so I have the exhaust for my 10R in the wreck. Just got a small little scuff on it. I'm gonna put it on the new bike. I've got the block off plates. Oh, pooch! I don't want to be in another wreck. Oh my god. <laughs> um, and I've got the air filter. Now, the ECU might not because it's flashed. I might be able to put it in the new bike. I don't know. I asked my tuner. He said, see if the parts number match. Okay, cool. We're going to try that. If not, I'll send it off to get another flash. Probably right away. I can just ride the 600, you know. I don't know. Breaking the 10 in with a flash, I don't see the issue. You know what I mean? I'll probably, and I got my integrated tail light and all that. So that's the good news is it's gonna be like <laughs> the exact same. I'm probably even gonna do the Reckless Lifestyle sticker in the same spot, or was it over here? Now I have to go look, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna do it in the same spot though. I'm just, uh, I'm torn though. I really like the name Toothless and I don't wanna scrap it. So I don't know what to do, but I don't think that naming the second bike the same as the first is smart, maybe like, uh toothless squared <laughs> i don't i don't know maybe i'll just name it something else i don't know man i did think about naming the other one elvira so maybe that's the way i'll go with it maybe i'll name it elvira maybe it was meant to be yeah guys i'm, I'm back i'm gonna try to start doing the videos more regularly again at least once a week i had to take a break you know i do have some stuff recorded but uh i'm not gonna lie to you i just i've been in a slump man i've been in a slump all right i'm mad at myself i'm mad at life um i'm coming back i'm still not back to work yet i will be next week until then i'm gonna try to get some of my my healing content recorded and uh we'll get back on this tip and back on the pony as they say so, yeah, so my knees were really the only injury. My ankle was sprained, which honestly, with the knee problems, I didn't even notice. I still had some road rash on top of my left foot from where I hit. Um, don't really even notice. I did one day, it stuck to the sock. You know what I mean? So, I, I did notice it then. Whew. Yeah, my... I have my heels on the pegs right now, not the balls of my feet like I should. But hey, progress is progress. So every day since the accident, I've been coming out and trying to sit on my bike to see if I can sit. And finally, yesterday I was able to sit, but not very freaking comfortably. Today I was able to sit just a little more comfortably and I just, I figured screw it. And after this, I've already taken my mile walk for the day, but I'm, I think I'm gonna go take another one and loosen my knees up. I've noticed the walking has been giving me mobility back. I've been wearing these really good knee sleeves that seemed to help. Um, yesterday, my right one, the torn one, one the torn ACL did buckle a little bit. Well, okay, I dropped like a sack of potatoes. It, I went, I was throwing a toy for my dogs, playing with them, you know, felt good. 
it buckled and dropped me um today it buckled a little bit cleaning up dog crap i've been doing like chores and stuff you know i'm just you can't keep me down guys I, i'm built different i keep telling my wife this i mean it i'm just built different i right? um but um they seem to be coming back i'll find out if i need surgery when i have the mri god i hope not i don't want to be laid up even more but if so it's okay i'll do the physical therapy i'll stay on my feet i'll come back you know, it is a. Uh, we'll come back from this, guys. We will. We we coming back. Um, we'll get the channel going strong again. Ah! <sighs> Knees do hurt just a little bit. <sighs> but it's okay. Bro's taking five business days just to get across the intersection. Woo! It is a little rough getting them back on the pegs after putting them down. But, uh, yeah, that's the updates. I'll try to get this video edited and get it up. Um, it's Friday right now. I might just schedule it for my regular Tuesday. And then you know do a little promo i don't know we'll see i i don't really want to do a surprise drop because then nobody you know it seems like i don't get any views when i do a surprise drop and i want this one up man i feel like it's cool you know like i'm back i'm not healed but i'm back i'm able to sit on a bike i really am about this life i'm squitted out as y'all seen at the beginning before my insta tried to fall off so yeah just hell yeah i am ready to get home though my knees are starting to hurt being scrunched up but progress is progress the walking hurt at first too then it got easier every day and now i'm walking without much pain as long as that's all i'm doing is walking so yeah oh wait ah, i want to go further i didn't realize where i was at Oh, I think I just ran over a nail. Crap. Hope I didn't mess my bike up. Get a flat tire. Goodness, I'd be mad. Still have the wife's bike if that happens. <laughs> hey, buddy. He's really squitted out. It's funny, too, because like, those guys will call us squids. I'm like, at least I wear a helmet and gloves, brah. Like, at the very least, wear a helmet, man. And honestly, gloves are smart, too, because if you go down... What's the first thing you're doing? You're gonna put your hands out in front of you. You don't want to eat your hands up. So, sheriff, the cap is out. The sun is out. The cops are out. I mean, nice weather means cars, means revenue. So, uh, yeah, it's been a good ride. I'm glad y'all got to take this with me. I'm glad we got to do it. I'm so happy right now. Just, yeah. Ooh. Get the knees up here. <laughs> it's amazing I'm even able to bend my knees now because I wasn't able to bend them very well. Yeah, yeah, just come on in, pal. What What is he doing? Man, that's that stuff. I'm all nervous about cars now, man. Gun shy. I mean, yes, I did that to myself, but I had some help, man. I got almost got hit. Might have overreacted a little bit, you know. It is what it is. But, you know, it, it's part of the game, y'all. Yeah, buddy, these holiday guys are just squid life in it. Eee! Buddy. Buddy. <laughs> oh, please don't. Don't pull in front of me. Now I'm all nervous. So, hopefully we're getting a good, decent, long video out of this. Hopefully y'all ain't tired of hearing me talk yet um we back we back we back we back huh. oh and also so i got a uh, failure to control speed ticket over the wreck cops are dicks bro like i was laying on the ground and they were digging in my pocket for my wallet <laughs> you know what i mean like bro i do not like cops um i was gonna fight it but so I looked into it a little bit. 
honestly i'm no lawyer it was only a 240 dollars ticket um that's cheaper than a lawyer and i got deferred so if i don't get a ticket for 30 days it's off my record so i just did that it seemed like the smarter option i was gonna fight it but so then i also seen because i was like well screw it, i'll probably because i'm no lawyer i'll probably get found guilty anyways but at least i'll feel good about it um but they can charge you for like the court fees if you lose and uh it's already been a big enough financial burden this whole wreck thing so um i decided just to eat it take it on the chain i played no contest <sighs> i know i know i know i know i don't like it but sometimes you got to swallow your pride for the smart thing and business wise it was just smarter to take it on the chain so yeah yeah oh we got to run across the road up here we'll just go down a gear drop a gear but don't disappear uh-huh yeah there's been massive gravel over the roads the last few days i've been driving too so i'm being real cautious i don't know why we're going 30 and a 40 or 45 it's either 45 or it's about to be oh we're we gonna speed up now so i suppose i'll let y'all go i think we've got enough in for this video stay tuned for more content i'm back to hopefully dropping at least once a week maybe more i don't know I'm, I'm i'm trying to decide i don't know if the second drop a week is beneficial or necessary i see on my second video i get less views so i don't know and i'll try to get some oh it's a rocket buddy come back i don't want to chase you i'm in pain huh. hopefully i'll get to the ride sunday too maybe we'll make a video out of that one get some video content stacked up honestly i gotta clear some of my memory cards up or buy more so and i found if i don't like edit a video right away it usually gets put on the back burner and never done so i don't know we'll see we'll see uh peace out guys y'all have a wonderful day oh.